Good morning everyone. We'll be setting up a virtual machine today using VirtualBox which is a free software uh, used to run various different uh, virtual operating systems. Uh, you can use this software for testing purposes. Uh, it's 100% free and uh, it works on all different operating systems. So if you go to virtualbox.org and then go to the downloads you'll be able to see all different versions of it for Windows, for uh, Mac operating system. So we'll choose Windows uh, host and uh, download the file. Once it's downloaded, we'll start the installation. So as you can see that we uh, downloaded the file and have installed the software. Now just keep one thing in mind that uh, in order to run the uh, virtual machines your BIOS settings for virtual mas machines should be enabled. Um, so go to the uh, website of uh, um, the vendor or the laptop that you are using whether it's a desktop computer or a laptop for example HP, Dell or whatever and you can google the settings that how can you enable the virtualized settings in BIOS of the computers. Uh, it's usually uh, written as virtual technology or v uh, VT technology. You'll have to simply enable it and restart the computer. Uh, once done, uh, open the software again. If you'll not enable the virtualized settings on your BIOS, um, in most of the computers you won't be able to run virtual machines. In the latest computers, it's enabled by default, uh, but if it's not enabled, you're using a um, older computer you'll have to enable it manually before the virtual machines will work. So once done uh, then we need to decide which operating system we are going to install. In our case we are going to install Windows 10 operating system and in order to download Windows 10 Microsoft is providing this uh, on their evaluation center they are providing a 90 days trial version of Windows 10 Enterprise I'll give the link of the website in the description. You'll go to the website um, and for the educational purposes it's perfectly fine to use this because you can test it and if you're interested you can buy it later. They have an option appearing over here. Um, but at the moment we'll be testing it so we'll get it started with the free version of it and we'll choose ISO Enterprise. After that we'll press continue uh, fill in the details and press continue and you'll be able to download um, the trial version of uh, Windows 10 Enterprise. Now you can see we have downloaded the uh, uh, Windows 10 Enterprise version and it's appearing on the computer. Uh, the size of this file is around about uh, 5.2 GB depends uh, when you're downloading it. Now uh, we'll open VirtualBox again and uh, we'll try to configure it. So once we'll start uh, configuring it, first of all we'll press new. And in new we are going to uh, choose the name of it. For example, we'll type it Windows 10 and then we'll give a path where we want to save it. And as you can see I have selected a path where I want to store my virtual machine. It's better to change its path to a non-OS directory because we have seen if you are installing it in C on desktop or documents it sometimes creates some problems. Uh, then you will choose which operating system you are installing. So in our case we are installing Microsoft uh, Windows so we will choose this. And then from here you can choose if it's a 32 bit or 64 bit version of Windows and it's not even limited to uh, Windows 10. You can install from Windows 3.1 all the way till uh, Windows Server 2019 using VirtualBox. So in our case we are using Windows 10 64-bit so we'll choose Windows 10 64-bit version of it. We'll press next and then it depends how much RAM your PC um, is equipped with. Now at the moment I have 32 gigs of RAM on my machine. Now this indicates that if you are in the green path that's okay. This RAM which is in the orange part uh, better not to move the slider in the red part because that's the um, RAM size which is uh, uh, kept for the host operating system. So I'll keep it somewhere in between over here. 
um, where I am giving around about 16 gigs to my virtual machine. Okay, I'll press next and uh, I'll go with the default settings over there. It's just like uh, if you are attaching a hard drive or you want to create a virtual machine, since it's a virtual operating system, we'll create a virtual hard disk. I'll press create and in this one also I'll not make any changes I'll go with the default in virtual disk image or you can create a virtual hard disk it doesn't make any difference it's just about the extensions which uh, are there for VMware and other virtual machines so I'll just press next over here uh, dynamically allocated or fixed size means that it would keep on increasing the size as per the requirement so I want to fix it so that I am keeping uh, enough space on my hard drive for other things so I'll keep it fixed and here I'll keep for example 30 gigs of space for my virtual machine so it's giving the path of it where I'm saving uh, in the folder and the extension of the file and I'll create the, uh, the virtual machine it would take some time so let it create and uh, we'll be back once it's done now it's done as you can see this is the uh, basic uh, intro um, information about the virtual machine that we have created if you want to make any changes to it you can go to settings and uh, you can uh, change the settings uh, as per um, your own setup uh, sometimes it happens that you need to make certain changes in this one based on your current setup so you'll just make the modifications on it, sound card and even network, where how you want to attach it and uh, rest of the things. So uh, for the initial setup, since we are setting it up for the first time, we'll just uh, keep the default settings. As you can see, you can even dedicate more CPUs. Um, I have 16, so again the same thing. I'll keep it in the safer limit like 8. I'm not going to the... Uh, red part of it where you're showing that the rest of the things are required for the host operating system so I'm changi changing it for my own setup but you keep it uh, default as the settings are there once that's done you'll start it and uh, in order to uh, uh, power up our virtual machine as you can see initially it's in the powered off mode um, we'll start the machine by clicking the start button when I press start it showed me a window to select the ISO file but I pressed cancel and once you press cancel you'll see a screen like this now it would show that no bootable medium found um, because we canceled it and that's the typical problem or the mistake that most of the students would do so if you're stuck over here you'll go to the devices and you can choose the ISO file wherever you are saving it on your computer so in my case I have it over here so I'll select it and I'll try to boot my machine again with the um, ISO file that I have selected or you can go to and you can choose the file and after choosing the file you'll press start now we picked the ISO file that we selected in our uh, last screen and it would continue the installation of Windows next is it would show you this screen and you'll proceed with the normal installation of Windows we'll read the agreement over here and then we'll press I accept and uh, we'll continue uh, since we are not upgrading it we don't have any previous version of Windows installed so we'll go to custom we'll select it there are two ways either you can create a new partition over here by clicking at this like this it would create a partition uh, one partition would be reserved for system information and the other one would be for the Windows or you can simply delete both of these partitions and click next over here it doesn't make any difference so as you can see that it has started installing windows it has finished the installation and now it's restarting the computer 
now keep a note of one thing that since we have added the devices over here as the optical disk so it would automatically uh, look for the installation medium like press any key to restart uh, to start the installation don't press it because now we have installed it otherwise it would start the installation again so I would highly recommend that uh, you can go to the optical disk and remove uh, the disk from the virtual drive so that it won't ask you again otherwise you'll end up installing it over and over again now it's getting the devices ready so the installation's finished and it's starting it for the first time and we'll choose the region over here and continue and the keyboard layout we don't want to add another keyboard We'll name the account over here and choose a password. Once done, it would take. We'll have to set up some things. Choose the privacy settings as you want to set it up, but it's entirely optional what you want to set up over here. Press accept. Um, Cortana, let's accept it. It helps sometimes. And now it's setting up Windows, your own profile. And uh, as, as you can see that it has finished installing Windows, so it has even the network connectivity. So you can use it uh, for testing purposes if you want to test any applications or anything like that. So just uh, to show you if it's connected, really connected to the network, in order to test the network connectivity we'll click start go to run and we'll type cmd and we'll type in ping and then we'll go to google.com and as you can see we are getting replies it means that this machine can connect to the internet using the host machines adapter and settings so that's how we set up uh, virtual machines in virtualbox Thank you very much.